Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon you, my dear viewers. Welcome to Morals and Minutes. This is Muhammad Ali, and now we are to talk about courage. Courage known as the choice and willingness to comfort agony, pain, uncertainty, or intimidation. Courage is an admirable virtue that is known to inform and strengthen all other virtues one may possess. There are two forms of courage, physical, which is displaying courage in the face of physical pain, hardship or physical threats. The second type is moral courage, which is the ability to act justifiably in the face of personal loss, popular opposition or issues such as discouragement or issues such as shame or scandal. The most common known type that we witness in our everyday lives is in fact physical courage, while in fact it should be moral courage. Moral courage is quite opposite than physical courage in numerous ways, with the most prevalent one being that physical courage requires fighting for something, for the physical self. As for moral courage, it focuses on holding on to one's values by making correct judgment and standing up for what is right no matter what the consequences may be. Moral courage requires us to make judgments about what actions or behaviours are supportive of our highest ideals and which ones are destructive. It asks us to recognise our responsibilities and see the consequences of our own actions. This type of courage that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advised us to take on and displayed this type of courage through His main three messengers, the Holy Quran, the Prophets السلام, as well as the Ahlul Bayt السلام, and their companions. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, O oh my son, keep up your prayer and enjoy good and forbid the evil and bear patiently what which befalls you. Surely these acts require courage. In the Holy Verse, Luqman is advising his son with many important traits, with courage being one of them. Now, Luqman was not a prophet, but a wise man that God had blessed with wisdom, and he was mentioned in the Holy Quran for that reason. It has been said that Luqman's advice to his son in the Holy Quran is the key to success in this life and on the Day of Judgment. Here, in this particular verse, he is advising his son to always remember the importance of prayer while at the same time to enjoy life while staying away from what is forbidden and to also advise others to steer away from evil. This verse also mentioned to remain patient during any misfortune that occurs and finally it concludes the holy verse with stating that by doing these specific actions, courage is definitely required. If close attention is paid towards this verse, many lessons can be learned with the most significant one being courage. This verse mentions to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to do while at the same time forbidding us from doing what is evil and to remain patient in the face of hardship and misfortune. Finally, the verse mentions courage to wrap up the verse, which means that in order to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants, we must possess the virtue of courage. This relates back to moral courage because, as mentioned earlier, moral courage requires doing what is right and standing by the truth and refraining from doing what is wrong no matter what outcome may be. Since the Ahlul Bayt السلام, possess all moral excellence and the perfection of their individualities was created in the heavens before the creation of mankind, then that means they possess all positive traits and virtues, including courage. There are countless examples that reveal the trait of courage from the lives of the Ahlul Bayt السلام, but there is a significant individual known specifically for this beautiful trait. The commander of the faithful and the rightful caliph, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib السلام, was known for both his moral courage as well as his physical courage. As for the physical courage, we witnessed the countless of times throughout the wars he fought during the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his progeny, as well as after his death. However, during Imam Ali's السلام, lifetime, we witnessed that he casted a spotlight onto moral courage and focused on it far more than physical courage. We witnessed this through his holy hadith as he says, 
The most powerful type of people are those who have authority over themselves. This hadith is trying to expand on the idea of moral courage as the Imam clearly states that those who have authority over themselves, meaning they can control their actions and differ between what is right and what is forbidden, are most powerful type of people. In this hadith, the Imam السلام, does not associate courage or power with physical abilities. Instead, he associated power with controlling oneself. In today's society, we often witness power and courage with those who are physically stronger, which often creates confusion for those who are unaware of what courage truly is. Due to society's unfortunate outlook towards this issue, we often witness much unfairness and chaos going around in today's world. Courage should never be a trait that leads to chaos or destruction. Instead, it should be a virtue that leads to success. In conclusion, through verses from the Holy Quran as well as examples from the hadiths of Imam Ali السلام, we are able to differentiate between the two types of courage. After a brief analysis, it is clear that moral courage should have a far greater influence on one's life rather than physical courage as it's far more important in terms of bettering the self. Through Luqman's advice to his son, as well as Imam Ali's eloquent hadith, it becomes very clear that courage is truly an important virtue that one must possess in order to develop other positive traits and virtues. Respected viewers, we reach the end of our show. Stay tuned and don't forget the dua to hasten the reappearance of our beloved Imam Al-Mahdi. May Allah hasten his reappearance. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.